Hello guys, it's Oatmeal, and this is just going to be a review over Reminders, the new one I'm just releasing, and the Setup app. Alright, so let's go into Reminders firstly. This is the new iOS 6 Reminders, as you can tell, first there is a bigger card right here. Um, the Reminder screen is also bigger, the text is a different color. Uh, this one has a great improvement, like if you go here, as you see the checkbox pops up when you're ready to type. Um, you can type whatever, I'm just going to put feed the cat, and when you hit return, it automatically puts up the chevron. Uh, right now I just have it set up to where you can put an icon badge. Oh no, what are you doing on here? But this page is laggy right now, as you can tell. Um, I'll be able to demonstrate the Nets feature, which it's, nope, it didn't even do that, sorry. That page, the icon badge page is super laggy at the moment. Alright, so as you see, it brings up the checkbox and Chevron. You can close it, completely close the app, and open it back up. And as you see, it saves the checkbox and Chevron. You can also check the checkbox close out of the app and come back in and it saves your checkbox so how, how do you get rid of um, the checkbox in Chevron? You delete the whole line mm. and there you go um, the other side it keeps count of how many you completed when you check the checkbox um, when you uncheck it it counts down Right here you have the full calendar and all. Um, right here I'm still implementing, but it will be done by the time I distribute it tonight. Is the date, it gives you the actual date, and up there it will give you the actual date, and you can click it, and it brings up a card right there where this screen is, and then you can just type up more reminders for that specific date only. When you hit the completed screen, it should take you back to the, nope, it should have taken you back to the completed screen. It should automatically set it. Um, in the old one, you could get it stuck in the middle, but now that it has paging set, so it's either taking you to one or the other when you scroll. You don't even have to tap it that hard. You can still move these up and down, um, so it makes it easier when you're typing. So say you just finished there and you want to go all the way down here. Um, the bottom line has nothing on it, so don't even worry about that. Da 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 da, ba, ba, and there you go. Um, and as you see, it's cleared out now. Hit return and they move away. Uh, we have custom text there because this will be used in both white door and red door. You'll select it through the settings. Uh, you can search reminders. Um, it's, it's just like the old one um, where you search and that one will change, but now it will take you, it will flip you back around and take you to the exact line that has it. It will highlight it. Um, alright, configurator app. Alright, it's the uh, same thing. You click the little eye here and it will tell you what you're on, like I'm on the iPhone simulator. Slide to set up, as you see the alpha down, the, uh, down here moves with the thing just like the real thing. I need to stop saying thing. Um, right here, uh, you can enable stuff. Here's gonna, we're gonna try and get the Sarah app so it can help you set white door reminders which is giving you a clue of what's coming next, set a movie, find you a movie and set alarm and more. So as you can tell, Sir is going to get an update here too. I don't have it, I can't mess with the iPhone simulator, so there's no package installed in that location. Uh, networks, this also has a problem. Um, you can connect to iTunes and it'll just bring up a restore screen. Or, I'm going to have to go through the whole thing again. Um, or you can just hit OK here and then go next and it gives you the respring screen. On a jailbroken device you'll actually be able to respring it, however mine's not jailbroken so it does nothing. Alright, thanks for watching, have a good day.